Oh my god, man. It's like Eve, every time when you load into Eve, at the first beginning, you just have like f 10 frames. You know what I mean? I think, I think you finally loaded things. Let's see. Oh my god. Yo, what's up, my dude? You guys are probably like, what the fuck was that right now? Yo, welcome to the channel. Um, And here we are, back with another EVE video. That's right. And um, I don't know how loud the thing is, the uh, soundtrack is. Because I have it low, because I have some, like, atmospheric, like, distance stuff uh, on that is actually really loud also i'm look at all these damage what the fuck oh i think that was like on the previous mission god i have to repair that hold on <sighs> that's that's it yo i had smaller damage that costed like five million yeah whatever anyway let's go uh so you guys are wondering why am i here even why am i in this video bro what is going on that's right you know what why are you in this video hmm? so we are here to do level three missions because we are an alpha enjoyer you know not everyone has rich parents to buy omegas uh, so here we are, okay. Uh, let's do set destination easy gaming and let's go. Let's move on. Okay, so here's the thing. So level three missions, if you have a battleship, easy, bro, easy. You know what I mean? And the battle cruiser actually works really well too if you have a good fit battle cruiser. So I have a Drake and I pl I did plenty of level three missions with the Drake. What the problem is, one problem is, it's just the fit I have right now is slow. So if you guys want to see, uh, we have Arbalest Heavy Assault Missile Launchers, right? And then um, the Shield Rechargers, uh, multi Multi-Spectral Shield Hardeners, that's that's already, it's a tank, right? It's a shield tank, so you can get um, get real close to the enemy and does do a lot of damage. But I think we have one problem, and that is I cannot use auto-targeting missiles because auto-targeting missiles are Omega. So we have one problem there, but let's see. Let's say we have that. Don't think about that, right? What about missile launcher operation five or cruise missiles? I don't even have cruise missiles, and I think that's what makes this um, build a little bit uh, less act. Um, how should I say? Less effective, right? So maybe once I have cruise missiles, then it gets a little bit better. Uh, I don't think we're going to get auto targeting missiles anyway, because we're not Omega. We're trying to stay Alpha, right? Um, our corporation, Volgograd Industrial, is full Alpha, right? We're trying to experience the fullest Alpha experience in this game uh, as much as possible. Uh, see how far we can get, and then new players who want to jump in right into it and who feel lost can then you know through us um you know find find some place in eve right if they don't want to spend money they shouldn't be forced to spend money so um uh, and they shouldn't be forced to play like five thousand hours to make money right uh by the way check out lori gaming dude lori gaming makes amazing eve content man. i fucking love them uh so for those that are alpha and just want to like know Shit, I targeted the wrong, the wrong guy. So let's see how fast we can survive. <laughs> okay, we have to get there real quick because our max range is like 15k. So you can guess why this is so painful. This fit is so painful, but it is... Um, possible to do okay so 
Okay, hold on. So... Let me just show you. Do you guys hear anything? It looks like it's fucking... It's like quiet. It's like the game is quiet. But the, on, the other problem is if I'm like too close to the ship. Like so much noise. Okay. Anyway. Uh, our first target. Shit. Uh, is... Uh, what is that? Is that a cruiser, man? Shit. I don't know what the hell... Uh, it is a cruiser. Okay. Uh, here we go. We have to get really quick to him. And then to save his capacitor. We're gonna orbit, orbit this guy. Uh, while we're getting hit by everyone else. Don't worry. I know it's gonna do a ton of damage to you. But, um... Just chill. Uh, we gotta re reclaw... Ah, oh, shit. I forgot about that. I have a small Google. You need a better... I need a better one. Energy Nosferatu. I need a better one. It's too far. Yeah. That's what I thought. Okay. Do you guys want to know what the hell is going on? Um... Our shield rechargers plus the extenders, or actually, and the shield hardener plus the um, medium core defense field proof are helping out um, us surviving these nerds, you know what I mean? So, uh, there we are. It's gonna take a while. But um, the goal of this video is to be as quick and efficient as possible. Get to the objective, finish the objective, and get out. Right? See how fast I can do this. By the way, not every mission is the same. So some missions are taking a little bit longer. Some are really easy to do. And uh, yeah. So I, I don't actually know. I have like three EM, two uh, Inferno, and one Scorch. I thought I just thought like if I could get to the enemy shield quick. Right? If I get the shield down, um, the armor and, uh, you know, hull won't be that much of a deal. So that's why I'm, like, attacking, doing it like this. But I'm, am I doing it wrong? Do I have to, like, do 2-2-2 two, two, two of each ammo? Like, what is the uh, trick here? I didn't even check. Do we have any other... Nope, we don't have any other enemies close by. Right. Yo. This we... I wish we had like a... I wish we, I could move around with uh, keyboards here. That would have been sick. Oh, I'm actually too far away now. This ain't good. This ain't good, fella. Okay. The uh, capacitor is not stable, so you just have to like balance it out. You have to use your micro warp drive as sparingly as possible, but just to get quick to the enemies and then put it off. Um, yeah, so almost done. <laughs> That's why I put the Nosferatu there, just to, like, keep the capacitor, you know what I mean, a check. Uh, but I'm, the small one doesn't cut it. I need, I need a better one. So, yeah, I actually, I realized, by the way, for those that are playing Omega, um, dude, EVE Online is a game where... It rewards you for knowing shit a lot. It rewards you a lot. If you know how to play, if you know how, like, trading works with all, everything, right? The math and all that. Uh, it rewards you, right? It's literally a nerd game, man. Fucking nerds, you know what I mean? So, I guess just in case oh shit we got more um if you're an alpha player and you're like man what the fuck is going on like i don't know shit what was going on. um <clears throat> you have to be prepared to learn learn things okay if you want to make 
quick money and big money. There's just no playing around. Okay. Um, oh, by the way, I didn't use my drones. <laughs> Fucking noob. You know what I mean? All right, there we go. Finally. Now we got extra damage. Extra firepower. Uh, uh, so, yeah, if you want to, like, actually earn some credits, you have to be prepared to learn. Else, uh, you probably... I'm just going to be honest. You're probably going to waste time. Because um, the... Uh, basic knowledge income is not high it's like you know missions and stuff like that you don't do a lot of cash with those that's all i'm gonna say and it's gonna take you a long time like we got now we got um sunshine incursions we got abyssal dead space we got home fronts right just fucking know how to utilize them uh find like groups you can join, maybe, potentially join. And um, uh, that's pretty much the quickest way to make money. And I know the, uh, most of them require you to join um, join in teams, like with other players. Uh, but there are like data sites, relic sites, and stuff like that, where you could, which you can do alone, but you need to know how. You know what I mean? It's like uh, whenever I watch these videos, where people go on like long trips, expeditions for data sites and relic sites. I'm like, bro, I, I don't understand what is going on. And I'm like, when you try to find them, you don't find shit, you know? And when they go, they find a data site every 15 minutes or something, you know, 30 minutes. And you're like in there for two hours. If you finally found one, it's not, it's not even like a good one. You know. Alright, here we go. These are frigates. Okay. Frigates should be an uh, easy task. I'm gonna let. Okay, good. Move to the next one. I don't think we can activate the gate yet, right? Because we still have enemies around. What the hell is this structure? Angel wall. What? what kind of fucking wall is that? Oh shit. Always use your fucking warp drive. If you want to be quick and efficient, um, use your warp drive. Yeah, drones definitely help out, but I don't think the fit was, like, intended to be uh, relying on drones. Um, I think the fit was solely relying on cruise missiles and tank, you know, tanking. Um, so I'm gonna let my drones start finding the other ship. And I think I'm going to position my ship uh, close to the other one. And now we can make him approach uh, Nosferatu and Mesos. There we go. Beautiful. Just beautiful. I'm probably doing like the slowest way this the slowest way but that's just what i feel like uh i can do with my current fitting without cruise missiles by the way if you're wondering well why don't you just scale them up because fucking eve has a system where at a certain point you run out of skill you know timer and you have to inject skill injectors alpha injectors whatever And if you don't have that, you have to use un like un unallocated skill points. And bro, I just, just it's just it's, it feels like they just fucking hate alphas, man. You know what I mean? CCP just fucking hates alphas. 
and um so back in the day i could just uh, queue them up be like queue them up uh, log off and it'll you know a skill up but now i have to like actually gain skill points and some of the dailies help but not a lot of them um or else you have to buy them and the skill injectors are not cheap guys you know what i mean like let's see alpha skill uh skill skill injector small skill injector the smallest one is 250 starts at 250. the large ones we're not even talking a billion you know what i mean so it sometimes it just feels like almost impossible but it's not okay i've seen people uh do their oh shit see i i wasted a lot of capacitor now i, I wasn't paying attention so, uh, yeah, you see, see people doing like good amount of money as an alpha, but it always feels like it's, um, it's people that have been an Omega player and then moved on to alpha, you know, like I haven't seen a lot of, um, we have to wait for the capacitor. Actually, it, it, it shouldn't matter that much. We still have enough to uh, cruise to them, get close, get at close range. Um, but yeah. Like same way, like I wish compressing, as example, compressing was an alpha option too, because like then people could buy apocalypses and shit and try to mine with that at least something. Like you won't get a porpoise, you won't get a retriever, an orca. You won't get the same level of, uh, you know, oh shit, I'm running out of capacitor. Actually, let's uh, start attacking this one and use the Nosferatu. There we go. So, yeah, like, I, like, give them like alternative options that are probably expensive, but um, doable uh, as an alpha. Why I said Apocalypse, Praxis, etc. Because they have like a lot larger yield than uh, a regular venture. So I already think Praxis is like a really good option. Um, which is cool. Um, but obviously the cargo space, unless you do AFK mining, I guess. If you want high yield, then you'll have less cargo. And I wish like if there was a compressing option. Uh, for the venture, maybe. Um, so, like, one of them have to, has to fly a venture or something. Like, you could you could force something, you know? Teamwork, you could force teamwork, that's fine. Uh, yeah. But, uh, no, here we are. CZP just wants money. Give me that money. Give me that sweet... That's, that's all they are after, bro. Fuck me, dude. And then you hear the Omega players. Omega players don't make shit make sense either. You know what I mean? Well, if you want to enjoy the game, just buy Plex. Anyway. Or like a lot of them are completely blind to the uh, advantages an Omega player has. Yeah, but a, a, a tier one freak, it actually destroyed an Omega freak. Yeah, what the, who the fuck cares, man? It's maybe like a one good player that got him. But overall, you still have more advantage. That's not true, man. Also, don't even try to look for like EVE forums, bro. It feels like there's just, you know what I mean? Filled with people that just, you know? don't like new players i guess you know i've seen like people just uh, bringing in ideas and immediately getting fucking shot at you know it's like if you if you don't like it here you don't have to play the game do you guys hate new pe new players i don't get it don't you want more players maybe that's the plan they just want ccp to run out of players and fucking finally realize maybe that's the plan you know like, bully new players, and then make the game less appealing. And then CCP loses money, because not a lot of new players. And then maybe they'll try to fix up. I don't know. 
Because you know, money speaks. If they start to lose money, oh, oh, you bet your ass they're trying to change stuff. I don't know if I'm... Okay, we actually, we're doing really good on shield. I mean, I haven't... It's, it hasn't dropped to 50% at all. Only like 20%. So this fit kind of works even without cruise missiles. It's just super slow. Also, why are my drones split? Oh my god. Actually, no. You know what? Focus on this guy. This is actually... It's like getting a lot of damage. And I like that. <clears throat> I'm sure you guys are like, well, I don't want to watch this, man. What is this boring shit? Yeah, I agree. Could have made uh, combat a little bit more interesting. No, actually, I I like it. Like it feels a little bit more like uh, you know, in Sins of Solar Empire, how you have like these individual modules for each ship, and I, I feel like I'm playing uh, a little bit of like Sins of Solar Empire capital ships. You know what I mean? It's actually really cool. Um, but uh, the fucking overlay, dude, man. I don't know. It just. <laughs> I mean, it's cool that I can do this, right? Boom, boom, right? Show, like, move the ships to exactly where I want. But I feel like... I don't know what it is. It's like the, the visual aspect of, like, these ships or the icons are weird, right? It's, like, not that appealing. I heard a lot of people... Like commenting on people uh, uh, on people's video, like war videos, where like people have like giant fleets uh, battling each other, right? And um, they, they were like, "Yo, that looks cool," but if I only yeah, like only if I could understand anything, you know what I mean? Like I don't Eve battle sounds so cool, but like I don't get anything of this. I don't know what the fuck is going on here, right? So. Like, even like this, I don't know. It's just... You know what I mean? It's less visually appealing for, like, people that don't know. Else, uh, I... You know, I don't doubt... Um, EVE Online would probably be, like, a great game. I'm not even kidding. I'm like... If they would improve some things here... Here and there... This could still be... Like, more massive than it already was, is, you know, massive space online multiplayer, dude. So... My fucking drones, dude. See that? 894k. That's the thing with these level 3 missions. If you get bounties, bounties? Oh my god. Bounties are like the bread and butter. By the way, I forgot to turn off my micro drive. Micro warp drive. Uh, yeah, the bounties are the bread and butter. Pretty much. Of these uh, missions. Else, you don't really make a lot of money. But like missions alone. Was I not supposed to like jump through the Oh, I already did jump through one gate. So. Well, now I need my <laughs> micro warp drive. <laughs> okay. Let's move on. Come on. Shit. Nope. Nope. I still need to use it. One more. The capacitor is running low. Oh my god. We are like 13%. Not doing good. Okay, we got close enough to, though, to attack, so. There we go. We're still fine on shields, doing really good on shields. 
That's why the Drake is cool for PvE. But maybe there's like better battle cruisers for PvE. I don't know. Maybe the Genosa. Genosa is probably less expensive. Actually, let me see. Uh, the Drake. Around 52 million. 52 million. Uh, see the Genosis. Also, I wish trading was more profitable. Oh my god, dude. Okay, it's around the same price, I guess. Uh, I think the Genosis has less turrets, though, right? It has only five turrets. My missiles, are, I'm too far away. <laughs> okay, I regained a little bit of capacity, so at least I have my drones. See, that's why the drones are nice. Um, when you ha when you have to like replenish your capacitor, you can let the drones deal the da the rest. You know. Once the drones are done with this guy. There we go. No. Orbit them. F5K. Okay, I think we're good. Now, I don't think you have to uh, kill batteries to continue with the, uh, you know, gate activation, acceleration gate. By the way, for you that are new here, uh, if you're wondering from which community... I'm from the freelancer community. Right. I know no one asked. Fuck you. But, um... So, when I'm comparing shit, like, I've played Sins of Solar Empire, Homeworld, Stellaris, Freelancer, Everspace, fucking... Star Citizen, whatever, right? A lot of space games in this channel. And so that's why I'm like, that's where my experience, knowledge, know-how, or like ideas, comparisons, whatever, come from, you know, from all these different games. But I mostly like to like compare them to like strategy games more than other um, uh, space sims. But I think that makes a little bit more sense. Oh shit, dude. Oh, capacitor. <laughs> Um, just because I mean I, you can mix them and make your own opinion I guess but um dude am I gonna have enough capacitor to jump wait I'm not uh, actually warp driving myself okay I'm using the gate so it shouldn't matter but uh yeah I mean that's kind of how you should treat Eve, no? Oh, before before they spawn. Fuck. They, oh, never mind. Those are ships. I thought those were like batteries. Okay. Uh. God damn, dude. Uh, I'm gonna lessen up the uh, shield hardener. Move up with the... Uh, get close with the micro warp drive. Get the drones out. You know, send them in. Okay. Think it should be close enough. Oh, capacitors are up. Shit. Okay, here we go. No capacitors. No capacitor run. I'm actually, actually, is that new? I mean, new, like, last year or, like, this year? That, like, thermal explosions have an effect now. EMP explosions have an effect now. Maybe not. I just never, like, paid attention, I guess. But I feel like thermals are, like, a little bit more aggressive. Like, you can see the heat. Um, 
you know, compared to before. So let's see how much energy we can steal from this guy. Four plus four GCGJ. Okay, we're actually doing a decent amount of... Uh, Uh, let's see how much we can... 7G, okay. We're doing a lot better on this one. Ooh, a lot of uh, vi uh, Vipers jumped in, so let's use our Shield Hardeners. It's actually really weird. I think I have to be at a uh, 3K. Just for the Nosferatu to work. You know what I mean? Because the Nosferatu is not doing giving me a lot, because its range is optimal optimal 4K to 6K. So I think we should stay around 6, uh, 3K, 4K. We should be fine. Yo, this is gonna be a little bit of a longer episode. Oh my god, we're at it for 30, 30 minutes, and I said let's see how quick we can do this mission. We are in 30 minutes. We're probably gonna get like what uh, five million max, five million with the bounties. Without the bond bounties, it would have been like 600k or something. Uh, Alright, let's uh, orbit this guy. So yeah, not really doing well. Yeah, but, I mean, even with a battleship, this might have been a little bit faster, but maybe I'm not pro pri prioritizing my, uh, like, targets as well, you know? Maybe that's, that's my, um, oh shit, okay. Maybe that's my problem. <laughs> okay, while my drones take care of these guys, we're gonna move on to these fellas. That's fast. But that, that's actually probably a little... That makes probably more sense. If you see them at like low hull levels, just immediately break off, go to your next target, and um, let the drones finish it off, you know, finish them off. I mean, at least our shields are holding, like, really well. Even without the hardener. So I mean sure we didn't get battle cruisers, we but we had a lot of cruisers, so Shit he's too far away, come on. What is he doing? Is he like running away? What the hell? Dude, I wish there was like a collision here at Asteroids. And like you could use hiding between like behind Asteroids as an actual like cover. They have collision as in your ship can't fly to them, but your projectiles go through. I wish the projectiles would like hit the Asteroids and they're like, shit, you have to like go around. Uh, let's make our way to the acceleration gate and get our drones back. Okay, never forget to bring your drones back or else they'll turn into rogue drones. And swallow your peepee. -pee. So I think another thing I saw from like Glory Gaming is that if you do activate warp and then do cancel 
your warp drive. Uh, but you have to be on a full cycle, I think. Uh, especially on like battleships that take like a long time to warp. Um, it'll like insta trigger the warp. And I tried it like twice. I think it did work, but I wasn't sure. Uh, it worked on his videos, I guess. Come on, when is this gonna end, dude? Holy shit. What the fuck is this video? Uh, what the fuck is this mission? I don't think we have to kill the uh, sentry turrets. So let's just focus on the ship, the crew crusher. So, yeah, like I said, I don't think you need um I forgot what I was going to say. Uh and, oh yeah, I was I was thinking maybe there's a way to uh like skip missions and I think you can like read them maybe be like oh this mission actually has multiple faces, right? phases so you you might not want to do this one so like you, you cancel it skip the mission next mission and just go for like a smaller mission i heard there's something called blitzing missions now i don't know if that's what they meant but like it's just you finish a mission go to the next one finish a mission next like you know continue you don't loot you don't salvage you don't do shit you just kill next one Finish mission next one. Uh, but I think... Oh, I wasn't even using my fucking turrets. <laughs> so I, I'm just curious. if Is there... Um, a way to, like... Determine or, like, figure out which mission might take longer. Has, like, multiple phases compared to, like, one... You know, simple one. If that's... If... if there is a way to do figure that out then you know that makes probably more sense because else uh yeah because else this is like taking too long all right now that we're out of um infernos we'll just go full on scorch uh shit dude i'm out of capacitors i'm not doing good I'm not doing good at all Can we do this? The is empty. Yep, capacitor. Capacitor run out. Capacitor is empty. <laughs> yes, a cap. Cap wise, this is bad. Oh shit, look at that. Another 700k uh, bounty. That's what I said. Like, the bounties are like. The I just got like 1.5. 1.6 million out of just the bounty alone. And the mission itself pays like 600k. It's like nothing. Come on. <laughs> I wonder if it's gonna make me uh, fight the, uh, the sentry turrets. Because last time it didn't. I remember there was a way. There was a mission where there were only batteries and only sentry turrets left, and I was able to jump through an acceleration gate. So I hope. I really hope. You know. This is the, the case here too. Come on, man. But you can see the shield is like... It's holding really strong. Even, like, without shield hardener, I'm not doing anything. Here we go. It does allow me to warp, so... Whew. 
You know what I mean? They might need a good picture for this one. At last, you've reached the final point. I can see from your ship scanners. What does that mean? Can I finally? Oh my god. No, I can't. Okay. Now, I gotta, gotta get close to them really quick. And I only have like three lines of capacitor left. Uh, we just have to take in all the damage. We just have to take in all the damage. Um... Let the drones deal with the uh, things. Okay, um, that's it. All right, okay, cool. We're actually really close now. I don't have to use um, my thing, my uh, warp drive, and I'll, I'll leave my shield hardeners down for now. Uh, there should be enough. Get the power clocks on this one. Could use the shield hardener now. So since we're kind of getting capacitor back through our Nosferatu. So. I hope there's not gonna be another wave here. Come on, this took too long. We're like 40 minutes in. This took way too long. Start orbiting this guy and uh, should let the drones deal with the other guy. There we go. Already done. Yeah, it's for all of this guy. There we go. No, God, there's more. Fuck. <laughs> more jumped in. At least we're doing, like, capacitor-wise, we're doing good. Thanks to the Nosferatu. That's what I'm saying. Maybe, like, if I had, like, a medium or large something, Nosferatu, this build might be a little bit better, you know? Let's uh, get to our next fellas real quick. Yep, I know it's draining our capacitor, but gotta get there in speed. Gotta be there real quick. Okay, there we go. Fucking pirate ships? Those are Gristus ships, right? Or... Yeah, I think so. Actually, this would be a nice shot. Hold on. Like this. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess we go one down. Uh, orbit the other one. Boom. Oh, now I need speed. Let me finish these off. Okay, then I'll be back. Damn, man. I'm trying to, like... I'm trying to be, like, really conservative with my capacitor here. That's why I'm, like, always turning 
warp drive on and off. Wow, man. Literally inside the base. Fucking cheating. You know what I'm saying? This guy is using an entire structure to shield himself. Dude, I don't even know if I can get in inside there. <laughs> It'll, like, make my ship turn. The capacitor is empty. Right? Also, I'm out of capacitor. Fuck. Let's see. I don't think... Dude, if, if my drones have to do this, because I can't get close... This is gonna take a while. Alright, let's see. Come on, 15k. Yeah, cruise missiles, bro. Probably a larger range. I really wish I had cruise missiles now. Let's actually see. I think I have them queued, right? Cruise missiles. Um, apply skill points. Yeah, but I can't because required skills. I think missile operation needs to be. This one is like... Oh, 200, man. Fuck. Yeah, I can't... I can't get close. Can I? Am I even hitting him? <laughs> this is fucked up. Okay, I'm getting a little bit closer, I guess. 15k. I don't know if I can, like, actually... F do, am I flying? No, I'm not. See? It's, like, noticing the um, collision, and it's not letting me get closer. So, uh, I, I mean, I could do this, right? But... But uh, my missiles are hitting, so... Thank God I, had, I have drones. This would have been painful without drones. Am I even hitting? I'm at 17k. Shit, dude. I might not be even hitting. Nope, I don't see my missiles get to him at all. What the fuck? That's fucked up. Alright, come on, drones. Okay, here we go. There's more! Dude, if this ain't the last one... <laughs> oh my god. Yo, I better get like 10 million out of this. Oh my god, stop webbing me. Look at how slow I'm going. Okay. The capacitor is empty. Capacitor down.
the mission just won't end. It's, it's just we just get more and more. Look at that spider drones. Nice, bro. We're like 40. We're like almost an hour in into the single mission. I'm gonna try to jump if it doesn't allow me. Let's see. And they web me. Fucking spider drones, man. God damn it. <laughs> Track them already. Holy shit. Come on. Drones, take them out. I just got another 900k from bounties. Now let's see if it allow me to jump. Oh my god, dude. Okay, this is fucking ridiculous. This is ridiculous. A single mission. A single mission where you get 600k. And obviously with the bounties now, we got up to like 3 million, I guess. But that's like... That's not worth. You know what I mean? It's not worth it. Okay, after killing this one... Dude, it's like 4 a.m. or something. I need to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> Come on. Okay, oh god. Okay, the mission is over. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Damn. By the way, I really like the uh, Drake's ship's design. I don't know why. But it's like, it fits like, it's like, it's such a coalition design. You know what I mean? Look a lot. Kaldari ships are pretty much, you know? I guess you could say very close to coalition design. With the wings down and all that. If you don't know coalition, like from the freelancer game. Coalition. You can see the you can watch the freelancer intro and see the coalition ships. Okay. <coughs> Moment of truth. 1.1 million. Okay. Now, let's see. So judging by all that, we got around 4 or 5 million. And it took us almost an hour finish this this is probably the worst attempt i guess i mean i don't know like i said if, if there is a way to like determine maybe there is if you like read um you know see you know if there's like a you know, like easier job But fuck. <laughs> no, anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please tell me what I did wrong. And please tell me in the comment section below if there is a way to like figure out which missions will take longer, like this one, which ones are faster to do, and how to blitz, okay? Like a small description, a small um, you know, explanation. That would be nice. So uh, I'm going to thank you guys already ahead. 
I'm gonna read your guys' comments and then on the next video we'll probably try to improve. Okay? So guys, thanks so much for watching. If you're always new here, you know. If you're always new here, you know. Sometimes you're old, sometimes you're new. If you're new here, please subscribe and uh leave a like, I guess. Uh and check out the other EVE content, you know, we had a failed abyss attempt, which I have to redo, try to get a successful attempt, you know, so, well, I hopefully see you guys more with, like, more EVE content, alright, bye-bye.